Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely run up to Christmas 2019. Um, it's been a really good year, uh, Shay Lenton, and I'm really pleased that you've all enjoyed joining in with Draw Along a Lenton, and um, we've really enjoyed seeing all your amazing drawings. I'm really excited about all the runaway robot ones that have started coming in already. Thank you so much for sharing. Very talented bunch out there, so I'm really glad that I'm helping to encourage people to draw and building your confidence. You don't have to be the best drawer in the world, but do keep trying, keep drawing, keep practising. Um, and you will absolutely get there. I've been there, done that, know you can do it. Now, it's, it's gone a bit uh, Cruella Dalmatian. Can you see in my, in my little studio here, because we're doing um, 101 Dalmatians, um, I've, I've displayed some that there's a lot of different languages um, uh, printed in this book. Like this. The ghost of Cruella has just knocked one of my books off. Oh, they'll probably all fall off by the end of this. Um, yes, there are lots of different languages. I think 16 or 17 languages it's out in. Um, this is the uh, the English language version here. So I don't speak most of the, most of the other languages uh, that it's out in. Oh, American, actually. Oh, I can speak American. Not very well, though. The whole thing stinks like yesterday's diapers. That's my baby Herman impersonation from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It gets me into a, an American accent quite terribly. I think you'll agree. Anyway... Today, something a bit different for Draw Along a Lenten. It's a bit more of a challenge because you're going to come up with half the drawing yourself. We are going to draw... Here we go again. We're going to draw Weatherman, Weatherman's back. Oh, I just shoved my finger up her nose. I do apologise, Cruella. Um, this version was about uh, uh, um, uh, adapted by Peter Bentley, the original author, Dodie Smith. Amazing author. We were very lucky and honoured to be working on this book. Um, and yeah, really glad, really, really exciting. Really, a really humbling moment for my career. Very, very lovely. Uh, we're gonna draw Cruella's face, but I'm going to leave her bald for you guys because you are going to come up with a Christmassy, amazing Cruella de Vil hairstyle. <sighs> now, what could you do? You could do like a Christmas tree kind of shape. You could add baubles, you could add glitter, you could add anything you like, you can you can paint, you can do anything. And again, I would love to see your colourful and amazing creations um, over the coming few days and someone will win a signed copy by me and Peter. So shall we have a go? It's it's quite simple this one and quite quick. Um, so it's a really fun thing to do if you've got a few moments left in class, if you're still at school, if you haven't broken up for Christmas yet, um, have a 10-15 minute bash at this one. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, guys, so here we go with Cruella. Now, I said I'm going to keep it fairly simple. And we're going to start by drawing down towards the base of your page, because you want all this room for Cruella's hair up here, okay? So we're going to start by drawing a shape like that. It looks like a backwards letter J. It's actually one of her sides of her face and her cheekbone. And then we're going to leave a little gap and we're going to draw a little triangle. Looks very strange just now, doesn't it? That's actually her nose, but it's a good place. The nose always comes in so handy when you're drawing your character to know where everything else goes. Then draw the opposite of what we drew on that side. It's a, an actual letter J this side, isn't it? There we go. Now it looks very unusual. Two J's and a nose. Then we're going to draw her chin, okay? Her chin comes down and down from her cheekbones. And then she's got a pointy chin that comes down like that, all right? It's very skull-like. I made her skull-like because she's she's quite nasty, she's quite evil. She sort of, in our version, she sort of comes good in the end. She's got a bit of a moment with one of her cats, well, with her cat. Um, but um, yeah, you'll see, you'll see if you read the book. Now, we're going to give her a smile. It looks like, it looks like a, again, like a skull kind of smile, but we need to give her because she's um, um, a, a, quite a nasty lady. It's quite good to give her some fiendish makeup. So we're going to draw a wobbly line and that's the top of her lips and her makeup there and then underneath she's got her lower lip like that 
Okay, so she's sort of got a slightly evil smile, and now she's also got a beauty spot, which makes her Cruella, I think. Very good. Now, from the bottom of her nose here, from the tip of her nose, we're going to draw a line all the way up like that. Okay, so it's like a downward pointing arrow, really. Now we're going to draw her eyes. Now her eyes are quite high up. She's quite a stylized character. So we're going to draw her lower, the lower part of her eye is a diagonal line like that. And then we're going to draw an arc shape that comes down and round to form the rest of her eye. And then, you guessed it, we're going to draw her pupils. She's got quite large pupils. She looks far too happy at the moment, but we're going to sort that out with her eyebrows. Okay, now we're going to do the same on this side. Try and get it the same kind of angle. Ooh, sort of have a bit of a guess. Try not to get a ruler out. Um, but we're going to draw that diagonal line down. And then again, we're going to draw the arc shape of her eye. And then draw the pupil in the centre like that. All right. Now, guessing the pupils, you'll see she looks slightly unusual. The eyes aren't in quite the exact place, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. You can just make her eyes, her pupils, bigger so they both sort of match up. They even up a bit. And also what we're going to do now is we're going to draw her eyelashes on anyway and make this line a bit thicker like that, which evens her eyes up even more anyway. Lots of cheats and things you can do in when you're illustrating and drawing characters. Now also, she's thicken up this line there underneath her eye. She still looks a bit too happy. So what we're going to do to make her look like the evil Cruella de Vil is give her a really long, downturned, curly eyebrow that comes down like that. And do the same on the other side. Look at that. Now, doesn't that change your character? She looked quite happy and jolly, didn't she? But now, see the difference those eyebrows have made. So, yeah, eyebrows, I think, are the key element to your character design. OK, now, I'm going to add two little ears. One there and one there. Two little ear shapes. We can put another line inside, a bit more detail. Like that. Also, I need to give her a bit of a neck and a curl off, like that. That's the lower bit of her neck. And now, this is where it's over to you guys, because that is the basic Cruella face. But what I would like you to do is, I would like to add some kind of necklace, some earrings, and a big kind of hairstyle. So what I'm about to do is an example, and because it's Christmas, I'm going to give her... I'm going to add some... Earrings like this, but look, I'm going to give her massive Christmas tree earrings, for example. Do the same on this side, but maybe on this side, maybe she's going full on Pat Butcher, and maybe this side, it's not a Christmas tree, it's a Christmas pud. Ooh, Christmas pudding. I love a Christmas pudding, I do. I think they should be available all year round. They probably are somewhere. I'm going to give her a bit of a... Um, I'll leave the necklace to you guys. But, so her hair can be anything you like. Her real hair in the actual book is something like this and curls round and round and round and round and round and comes into a big sort of top knotty thing here and then I colour it all in black and white. Um, but again, you know, you could add Christmas baubles... You can add more Christmas trees, you can add stars, you can add all sorts of things. I'm not going to give you too many examples, because I don't want you to copy exactly what I've done. I want it to be super Christmassy. You can add more Christmas trees coming out like this. You could add moons and stars and all sorts of things. You can go quite crazy. And what I'd like you to do when you finish yours... She could have bows and all sorts of things, couldn't she? You can go really mad. Also, she doesn't have to have her hair up here. She might have ponytails, she might have bunches, all kinds of things. But that's my little version of Christmas Cruella. Now, what are you going to come up with? I can't wait to see.
Hey, well done guys. Hope you enjoyed drawing your Cruella. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do come up with. Remember, she could be wearing hats. She could be doing all sorts of things. So looking forward to seeing those. I hope you have a lovely Christmas and um, there'll be lots of news and new draw-alongs coming up from January. I might do a vote to see um, what you would like to draw in January. There might be something that might help you out with a school project um, or a particular character from one of the books I've worked on that you really like the look of and would like to learn to draw. So um, do have a think if there's um, anyone in particular you would like to learn to draw with me. And um, in the meantime, a very Merry Christmas again and have a happy new year. See you on the other side, January 2020. Ooh.